How's it going, guys? We have a past level question. Actually, no. I'd say this is medium difficulty question for pathology step one. Internal medicine to CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, and me at man underscore medical. Links down below for me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 49 year old man, three month history, fatigue, night sweats, weight loss, abdominal examination, shows shifting dullness, and a small mass palpable to the right of the umbilicus. Paracentesis shows chylus accumulation. Paracentesis is an important vocabulary word, especially for 2CK surgery. It simply means aspiration of peritoneal fluid. Do not confuse it with pericardiocentesis. It's a long fucking discussion, okay? It's classically the answer slash next diagnostic step for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, which has no relation to this question, but you should know for 2CK, you'll see this show up a lot, paracentesis, this word. And then holy shit, chylist accumulation, another vocabulary word. Chyle just means lymphatic fluid. Okay, so we've aspiration of peritoneal fluid where uh, it appears to be uh, lymphatic in nature, okay? So biopsy specimen is shown. Question wants to know the most likely explanation for these findings. We have this histo here, um, which I'll explain as we move through the question. So let's just look at the answer choices. Choice A, anti-apoptotic molecule, wrong fucking answer, refers to BCL2, which is going to be follicular lymphoma, 1418 translocation. So follicular lymphoma is going to present as a waxing, waning neck mass that's indolent which means not aggressive over the course of one to two years, okay? USMLE doesn't really care about the presentation per se as much as they simply just do the genetics, okay? So the translocation, as I said, 1418, know that that's follicular, know BCL2, the gene, and know that BCL2 is an anti-apoptotic molecule. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, fusion protein, wrong fucking answer, refers to BCR-ABL, oncogenic tyrosine kinase. This is a very buzzy way you assimilate can write the answer. I've, I've seen students get hysterical over this fusion protein. What's that? It's not a big deal, okay? As I said, 922 translocation Philadelphia chromosome for chronic myelogenous leukemia, CMO. BCR-ABL, okay? Oncogenic tyrosine kinase. It's a fusion protein, okay? So CML, they're going to tell you that there's myelocytes, metamyelocytes, promyelocytes, you get all these myelo sounding cells in a patient who has almost always a very elevated leukocyte count. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, real quick, imatinib is the treatment for CML, it can cause fluid retention. Okay, it's just a drug that targets the BCR, ABL, tarsin kinase. Choice C, recombinational double-stranded DNA malrepair, wrong fucking answer. So this refers to BRCA mutation, okay, uh, BRCA1, 2, the breast cancer genes obviously can be associated with uh, gynecologic cancers or in male, it can be testicular as well. But this shows up on the NBME exam. They'll just give you an easy question of breast cancer, and they tell you BRCA. They say the gene in the vignette, and then they want to know they want to know the molecular mechanism, and it's uh, a defect in recombinational double-stranded DNA repair. So very buzzy, okay? But it's important for you assimilate that you know that this is BRCA. Tangentially, you should also know TP53, okay? P53 protein, um, leaf Rameni syndrome. That's going to be a defect in DNA repair enzymes. That's the answer USMLE wants for that as well. Let's just whip to the other answer choices here. Choice D, transcription factor, correct answer. So this refers to c Mike Burkitt lymphoma, almost always 814 translocation. Can be 28 and 822. Pretty much nonsense, just 814, okay? So c Mike. it's a transcription factor, C hyphen MYC. And this slide, this histo is showing us the very buzzy starry sky appearance where we have a background of lymphocytes and then which are T cells interacting with macrophages, which are the more translucent, uh, lighter areas here. And these are known as tingible, not tangible, tingible body macrophages. There's an NBME question floating around where they have an arrow pointing to one of these uh, tingible body macrophages and they want to know what process is occurring here. And the answer is apoptosis. It's fucking weird. It's not my opinion. Okay. But you should just know that the starry sky appearance, not only is this buzzy for Burkitt lymphoma, it's a background of T cells where you've got these uh, translucent macrophages, but they're called tingible, not tangible, tingible body macrophages. And there's apoptosis occurring. Okay. So just, just be aware of that. 
And you might say, well, what's going on with the presentation though? Okay, I mean, when you classically look at textbook stuff, they'll give you the African boy with a jaw lesion. It need not present like that. They can give you uh, abdominal, okay? So intra-abdominal burkit, or it can occur of the jaw. It can be either or in the chylus accumulation. Well, that can suggest lymphoma, right? We said that chyle is lymphatic fluid, so this reflects our lymphoma here. I've seen that on a 2CK question for surgery where they gave a guy who had a mass in the abdomen, it was oncogenic, and he had chylus accumulation. And the question had nothing to do with like knowing it was Burkitt. But I just thought it was interesting. I was like, this is fucking Burkitt, right? I was like, it's gotta be Burkitt. But the question didn't actually ask about that. I just thought it was notable. So real quick, tyrosine kinase, wrong fucking answer. I mean, if you knew that, um, if you knew that fusion protein was BCR ABL tyrosine kinase, and then you see that choice E is also tyrosine kinase, albeit more general, you could maybe eliminate them better that way because they're more or less the same. Obviously, there's other types of tyrosine, tyrosine kinase, like EGFR tyrosine kinase. Uh, that EGFR tyrosine kinase could be non-small cell lung cancer, can be CNS tumors like glioblastoma multiforme, but uh, obviously just very generic answer choice here. Point is... Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm team make more content if you like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.